guys, here to present to you about intervention and how do we decide who needs it. Um, as a reading interventionist, I've had the uh, honor and privilege of grouping all of the students in our pre-K through 6 school um, into small targeted intervention groups to fill those major deficits. Many of us work in schools uh, where the students are anywhere from one to three years behind, sometimes more, um, and we do not factor in uh, intervention periods for our students to fill those gaps, or for us to fill those gaps for our students. Uh, and this is going to be a little bit of inside scoop on how to find your groups once your groups are uh, once your students are formed into groups, then how to pretest once more to find um, exact skill deficits to then target uh, the needs of those students. So step one, administer your universal screener for the fall, whichever that may be. Um, at our school, we use both Dibbles and Ames Web. Dibbles is K through three uh, reading, and then Ames Web is K through six math and four through six reading. Uh, so first step, administer fall universal screener. Second step, decide who falls in the 25th percentile and below. I know you're thinking that that's super low, and that is super low, um, because so many of our students fall in that percentile range. We are using that range for this school year. We're trying something new for intervention. And also, if you draw out a normal bell curve, anywhere between 25th and the 75th percentile is technically considered average. I know 25th percentile is a very low average, but it's technically average. Um, if you're looking at a different population of students where maybe the deficits aren't nearly as large, um, and the gap between the lowest and the low and the highest of the high isn't so significant, you could look for the 40th percentile and above, and you may group your students based on that. However, I will go from the 25th percentile and below. Okay, so the students that fall uh, 25th and above, we're going to give them the color of blue, and we'll call them benchmark students. The students that fall from the 20th to the 24th percentile, we're going to give them the color of green, and we'll call them bubble students. So those students are just on the cusp of becoming benchmark. Um, they're almost there. The students that fall in the 11th to the 19th percentile, those students we're going to give as our intensive students, and then our, and we're going to give them the color of yellow. And the students that fall in the 10th and below are going to be our most intensive students, and we'll give them the color of red. So once our groups are formed inside of our classroom across all of our grade levels, we will be able to go ahead and we can pretest one more time using a very um, highly acclaimed uh, intervention program. At our school, we use ReadWell, which offers an already made, already scripted pretest for you, which can allow um, you to see the breakdown between exactly um, what each student needs, whether that's um, they're having trouble with phonemic awareness, they're having trouble with... Um, uh, uh, they're having trouble with fluency, they're struggling in um, vocabulary, whichever whichever subject they're struggling in, that pretest will allow you to see that. Once the pretest is miniature to the group, you'll be able to figure out the gaps um, and then, then you can further group your students from there. Many students um, at that point, since they've already been grouped based on that fall universal screener, will need the exact same things, and then you can give a fully comp comprehensive um, intervention from there. And however, some students may have tested poorly on that universal fall screener, or um, they may, may need something even extra, and so from there you would have to um, consider your targeted intervention and possibly either more time or less time or group them with the students that uh, you know need the uh, exact same thing. There are a, ver a variety of programs out there besides ReadWell that also do the exact same thing for intervention. Um, another phenomenal one that can also be used for CORE but it's excellent for intervention students um, is Hegarty. It's a, uh, it's a phonological awareness program. Um, another one is Rhyme Magic, and that one actually does involve some text. So it's not just phonemic awareness, but um, it also takes it uh, to the print, which uses that orthographic processor. Um, there are a couple of other ways, but I wanted the, um, the content of this video to be specifically on how to group those students and uh, how to get them targeted instruction uh, once they're in the right group. Because many times uh, when we understand that our students are low, we're not quite sure um, what low means or what low looks like. So using the universal data to build those groups based on those percentiles will allow you more targeted instruction. Good luck!